Look, sir. Droid. Hey, everybody. Your good buddy Jack's coming right at you. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, I still haven't had a chance to um, make a video of my whole DVD collection. Um, pretty much because the last week has been pretty busy. Uh, there's been a family emergency, so uh, I just haven't been able to make videos. Uh, so I thought, in the meantime, I'll at least give you a little update of stuff I've bought in the past three weeks. Uh, about quite a few things, so um, let's not waste any more time and get right to it. Uh, I'll start with VHSs I got at um, second hand store uh, the day before yesterday. Uh, first up, brush, six pack, Kenny Rogers and a young Anthony Michael Hall. Uh, also has a young Diane Lane. This is a CBS box release. Uh, the box is all cut up. Uh, it's a form of rental, but I thought this looks like a cool, uh, cool purchase. You know, old school, 1982. I thought awesome, and I watched it. And guess what? It's not. Because <laughs> uh, I went on IMDb, and uh, you know, the comments were all like, "Oh, uh, great movie! You know, awesome, uh, fantastic film." Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Like, I'm. If there's a guy who likes cheese and is usually easy going with movies, it's me. You know, uh, I, I always try to see good in films. This, I just couldn't. Uh, I, I, I thought I was going to like it. I thought it was cheesy. He's got Kenny Rogers and a bunch of kids. It's called Six Pack. Um, but no, I, was, I, I, had, I watched the whole thing, but I, I, had, I had trouble making it to the end. It, I, I just thought it was boring, too. Cool guy got it, just for the, you know, old school, old school feel. So, that's Six Pack. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, same store. I got Van Damme is Lionheart. Um, I never seen this one. I still haven't watched it. Um, but I like those old school Van Damme movies uh, mainly because uh, Lucas told me a lot about them uh, when we were kids. So, uh, and like I said before, usually when Lucas says something is good, he's right. So, Lionheart. Looking forward to that. There's the phone ringing. Someone's gonna get it. Someone is there. You go. Okay, moving right along. Um, interruptions. Okay, moving right along. Another VHS I got um, that I still haven't watched. I still haven't seen this movie after all these years, and I get weird looks every time I tell people I haven't seen this movie. It's like, oh, I've, I've never seen that. What? Yeah, and I'm gonna watch it. I have it now, so I'm gonna watch it. You're probably going to have the same reaction, but it's the Blair, <laughs> the Blair Witch Project. Yes, I've never seen the Blair Witch Project, but I intend on it. Uh, by the VHS so I can watch it now. Uh, I thought for a dollar, why not? I want to see it. And another thing that kind of attracted me towards this tape is, check this out. Huh? Blue tape! So, I really thought that was awesome. Kind of trippy, so... Um, Looking forward to watching it. They had the DVD at the same second-hand store. They had they had it on DVD for five bucks, but uh, I really thought this was awesome. Blue tape, you know that. I thought I'll buy it for a dollar on tape. You know. So yes, I haven't seen it yet, but I will. I will watch it, and I'll let you know. Um, still have the same store, Derek's second-hand shop. Uh, got the Bad News Bears. The original 1976, Walter Matthau. I haven't seen it, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It looks, looks right up my alley. I, I remember seeing bits of it on TV when I was a kid, so... Uh, the main reason I was curious of seeing this is uh, I heard that... I um, can't remember his name now. Um, Earl... Man, I'm drawing a blank. But it's, it's the guy who plays uh, uh, Rorschach in uh, The Watchmen, and he's also the guy who plays um, Freddy Krueger in the new uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Jack Earl Haley. Jack Earl Haley. He's uh, apparently he's in this. Like, he was really young, so I'm kind of curious to see him as a kid. So yeah, Jack Earl Haley. Should be cool. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, moving right along. Um, Walmart. Super Summer Blowout Sale. Gotta love that. I bought a few things. 
I got The Office, season one and season two. Uh, I really like that show. Uh, I find it entertaining. I love the the humor. Uh, it's right up my alley. So there were about twenty bucks per season. So that's the cheapest I've ever seen them. So I thought I'd get I'd, uh, I get them. Um, let's go right along. I got Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, this is a great movie. I actually only saw it for the first time earlier this year, but um, I really like it. Good drama. Uh, with a sharp sense of humor. Uh, the whole cast is awesome. Um, it's just about a, a family trying to get to California for uh, a little girl who, who uh, wants to enter a beauty pageant called the Little Miss Sunshine Pageant. And there's just you really get to know every, kind of every character. Um, and the acting is awesome. There's there's just nothing bad about this movie. Um, and I love I, I I qualify it as a as a road trip movie actually because uh, you see them on on the road a lot in a Volkswagen Westphalia which there's nothing cooler and um, you know you see them on the road and I like that I like the feel of being on the road and it's uh, it's really great so if you haven't seen it check it out a little bit sometime uh, it's got Steve Carell in it which obviously I'm a fan I got the Office seasons so. He's, he's great in that movie. He's probably my favorite character. Um, next up, uh, kind of a favorite of mine from my childhood, Who's Harry Crumb, John Candy. Uh, this is a funny movie. Not not his best, but uh, I like it. It's cheesy, but it's it's great. Got some great physical comedy from John Candy because uh, he plays like a um, agent, like a master of disguise type of thing. So um, it's really great. I thought I had I had to buy it. I love John Candy. Um, next up, the original The Fog, John Carpenter's The Fog with Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, this is the special edition green case. Got this at a pawn shop. There's also another one in the blue case. But from what I can tell, I think they have pretty much the same features. So I got this one. Um, still haven't watched it, but I love John Carpenter, so should be pretty good. The Fog. I hear it's better than the uh, remake. Which I also haven't seen, but I, I like to stick with you with the originals. Um, I got End of the Century, the story of the Ramones. I've been a Ramones fan since my teenage years, so got this for pretty cheap. Thought I'd uh, check it out, and it's really interesting. Um, you just you really get an insight into the, into the band, like you find out stories you never knew, and kind of get to know them individually, and it's really interesting and. Uh, I like the backstory of the band. I liked it. Um, Fargo, special edition, got a got a good deal on this. I paid like seven bucks, a brand new. Uh, of course, I I love this movie mainly because of Steve Buscemi. You know, he's my favorite actor. Um, so that's why I bought it. Uh, but it's also just an enjoyable flick. Uh, Coen Coen Brothers at their finest, I say. Um, so yeah. Great find. And last but not least, my DVD purchases of the past few weeks. I'm gonna have a drum roll. And it's The Mangler. Tobey Hooper's The Mangler. Uh, based on a Stephen King short story. And it's kind of a funny story because um, when I found this at the store, which was really cheap by the way, five bucks brand new, uh, I had just read the short story like a week before that. No joke, I, I have it in one of my books. And I was reading it, and I'm like, oh man, I think there's a movie of this, I'd like to see it. Lo and behold, a week later, I find the movie The Mangler, so I'm like, I gotta buy it. I read the story. Uh, and I actually, I like the movie. It's pretty good. Uh, I couldn't wait to watch it, because it's got Robert Englund in it, and I thought, I love Robert Englund, this is gonna be awesome. But after watching it, uh, it's actually the kind of subplot in which Robert Englund's in was what interested me the least. Uh, and what I like the most is um, the main character played by Ted Levine, I believe. Uh, he's the guy who played Buffalo Bill in um, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, that stuff with his uh, partner and kind of kind of how they're trying to do you know, perform an exorcism and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that stuff interested me the most. They're trying to perform an exorcism. I should probably let you know. Uh, on a um, the whole thing kind of happens in, in a laundry factory, and there's a machine like an ironing machine that's possessed. So they're just trying to, uh, you know, unpossess it. So, yeah, pretty good movie, but, uh, I like the, uh, the short story a little better.
because there's just like I said, there's subplots added into the movie, like the stuff with Robert England, if I'm not mistaken, that stuff wasn't in the short story, and it was the stuff with him and the young lady, and uh, I don't know, it's just, I didn't like it, I didn't really care for that, but, but the rest of the story with the detective, that was really true to the, the book, to the short story, so I really enjoyed it. Um, so that's all I have for purchases in the past two weeks, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, more to come, and I swear my next video is going to be my whole DVD collection. Like I said, I was going to get around to it, but, you know, stuff happened and I wasn't able to. But I thought I'd give you an update in the meantime, and um, I'll be back with more. So, um, peace out.